You know, every time I walk by this trailer, um, I'm amazed at how good it turned out. We just got this trailer back from Carrier, Midlands Carrier Transit, Cold in Omaha. We just got the new 7700 put on this. And we're excited about this unit because it is carb compliant forever. It's a forever unit. And we have a special guest that you'll meet here shortly. It's Bill Willett. He's the owner of uh, Midlands Carrier in Omaha. He's going to give us all the skivvy of what makes this unit so special. And on top of it, we had it custom painted. Um, we've got some lights in here. We'll give you all the shakedown of this thing in a little while. But we are so excited to have this trailer back in our hands with the unit on it, ready to rock and roll. And uh, it's probably still the most profound trailer we've ever put together for a stock trailer. We have a special guest, and I was talking about him earlier from MCT Companies, and it's Bill Willett. Um, we have a new refrigeration unit from Carrier that's on the Outlaw, and uh, we just wanted to bring Bill in and let him talk about this new unit that's in compliance, and it's a forever unit in California now. Would you would you tell us a little bit about the overview of the unit and, and how it came about? Sure. Well, first of all, thanks thanks for having me. I really really appreciate the opportunity. Uh, this is our new X4 7700 series. Uh, this follows along with our X4 platform in the past. Uh, this is the most efficient high capacity unit available today. Uh, high capacity down to minus 20, uh, 25,000 BTUs at 20 below zero, and yet it does it with a high speed of 1800 RPM, which is compared to a competitive unit that runs at 2600 RPM. That 800 RPM every hour, that's 48,000 more times an engine turns, all data turns, a fan belt turns. So that's more than just fuel, it's maintenance and long-term long -term longevity of the unit. So tell us a little bit about the variable speed and, and you have different levels of, of what the RPM ranges are and stuff. Tell us a little bit about the, that. The compliance technology that we're using is, we, is, is the, the engine operates with, with common rail fuel injection, which, which is a more, more efficient way of delivering fuel to the unit, which helps with efficiencies. Um, because we run at 1800 RPMs for the high speed, we're now able to run a low, low speed. So instead of having two speeds like conventional units, this unit has an additional eco speed, which is 1100 RPM when conditions permit. So once a unit gets a load satisfied, it drops down to low speed. And the more time it spends obviously in that ultra low speed, the more fuel it saves. This unit will, will in, all of our, in all of our testing and trials, it's anywhere from 5 to 20% fuel economy over previous offerings. So it's a, it's a big difference. You know what was amazing when I was listening to it run, on that real low speed, you could barely hear it run. Yep. There's, a, there's a lot more to the, that low speed than just fuel. And also, there again, it's also turning another 550 RPM slower than a competitive unit. So that same math, math applies to 60 minutes. That's a lot, that's a lot of turns. Uh, lower fuel, lower noise. Uh, less maintenance. The other really beauty about the compliance part of this is this engine uses a diesel oxidation catalyst. So think. Um, well, tell us what the hell that means. Yeah, well, so and so think think um, um, you know on your on your on your car you have your um, catalytic converter. You ever main you, no maintenance to a catalytic converter. Well, this is the same way. This 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 dock reduces particulates, uh, NOx, uh, carbon dioxide. It it. It reduces all those things to new lows, never seen before, requires no maintenance. There's no boiling like with EGR. It doesn't add complexity to the system like say an EGR system does. There's no DPF to clean. So this is a lifetime under all the current regulations. It also enables us, this is a 24 horse engine versus our competitive 35 horse engine. And we only use about 22 horse power of that. So long term, long term, this is a much better solution. One of the things that we did with with the trailer was it has the black painted rails on it and we decided to get the unit painted black. Tell us a little bit about this unit and what all was done with the lighting and the badging and all that kind of stuff. So so what we did locally was we've had the, we've had the doors custom painted. We also added SunTech, which is a ceramic coating uh, used a lot. Automobile actually beads up water. It's like a fresh coat of wax. It helps make the, it keeps it cleaner. It's easier to clean the doors. Uh, little scratches heal with a little sunlight, a little warmth. So we think that'll be a better package, but this was a special unit to put on a special trailer. The unit also includes, and all of our new offerings have the hardware for a telematic system, our Lynx fleet system, 
that's included in the unit if, if, uh, if an end user wants to enable that. It's like XM radio or satellite system, you just pay a monthly fee and we establish, allows them to remotely monitor their system. And this particular one um, has a year long service on this that's included with the trailer. Um, and again, we're excited to have all these premium features that are on the trailer and the unit and just have it ready to rock and roll when, when the trailer pulls out of the yard. Bill, you guys have been in business quite a long time now as MCT. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your history with the company, when it started, and where you've expanded to, and, and all your locations. I actually used to work for, I worked for Carrier for many years, um, and I left Carrier in 1995, and we started this business. Over the years, we've kind of cobbled together a lot of locations, so currently we're in seven states, uh, North and South Carolina, uh, Nebraska, Western Kansas, and most of Southern California with a few stops in between. Um, MCT companies were one of the longer standing carrier dealers around the country. Uh, encourage anyone to go to our website, mctcompanies.com and take a look at our locations. Anything we can do to help. Uh, we've been proudly affiliated and known the Jim Hawk organization since I was a little kid, which by the way, was a long time ago. Um, but I knew, I knew Jim's grandfather fairly well. And uh, so we've, we've, watched, we've watched this company also grow and it's been great to watch. And, and one of the things that I always say is we like to do business with people that give great customer service. And since Bill started this business in the, uh, in the late 90s, early 2000s, he has built uh, the business up here in Omaha and moved it around the country. And that is their number one priority when you're looking from the outside in is their customer service and how they take care of people. Thank you.